You're going to hate me for this. Do you know how much I have in cash that's sitting there eroding away? Probably uh, one and a half million, two million dollars. Three to four million dollars yeah. sitting there in cash. Yeah, but that's part of the business though, right? Or is that, no, you, doesn't, is that you personally? This is Me personally, like two million. Why don't you invest it? That's, that's terrible. I don't know how. I don't know I, how you're to. here at the iced coffee hour. Like, I don't know how to invest. I know how it's just, it bores the crap out of me. You got to get somebody to do it for Bro, you. Is Even if money in a bank them. account more exciting? No, it's just not exciting. All of money is not if exciting. If you could pay someone right now $1,000 to just set it up for you and put the, move the money from a bank account into an index fund, <laughs> would you, you do that? Absolutely. Do I got that. you, man. I got you right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can set it up in 15 yeah, minutes. But you're man. American. I don't want to do anything with your with America. The, the tax system here is crazy. I don't pay tax can at you all. Not, can you not invest in a U.S. based index fund? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. You don't want to. No, be I can US. invest. I can invest from Singapore. So there's no capital gains in Singapore. Right. And there's no income tax in Dubai. But you do not want to invest in anything in the U.S. market. No, no. I, I, yeah. I want. I will invest from my Singapore bank account. Yes. I will not Got pay tax it. on that. Okay. I think. All I, you need to do is a total stock market index fund. You could go so expensive 70, now. It's, it, I mean, it's always going to be more expensive as it being too expensive right now, especially if you're talking about index funds. Everything is overpriced. That's what they were saying I a know. year ago, and for so the last ten years, yeah. Last year, I was busy making videos. And what about the year before that? I was busy year making videos. <laughs> and you're you still say be busy you want to make the year before that? I had no money. So you say <laughs> yeah. you want to get to a hundred million dollars. I think. Realistically, one of the best contributors to getting to $100 million is going to be investing. True. 100%. I, I, I'm indexing on like one stock to appreciate, which is the NAS Academy stock. Okay. Right. So that's why I'm spending 25 hours every day on that yeah. stock. But if you have that much money in your own personal account that's separate from the business. Yes. You got to invest that money. At yeah. least invest half. Yes. Take yes, half mom. of it. Two million in cash. Two million invested, and forget that the two million you invest, forget that ever even exists. Just basically burn it to the ground; doesn't exist anymore. Don't look at it for twenty years. Yeah, that's that's your fallback in case anything happens. That that two is going to grow to five. Yeah, it's true. That's what you need to do, and just a total stock market index fund. That's it. Just that one that's thing, it. and you could even do eighty percent total stock market index, twenty percent emerging markets or international. That yeah. way, you get more exposure to. Other countries outside the U.S. It would take you 30 minutes to set it oh, up. Oh, yeah. Easily 30 minutes. I, I got to do it. It's just, I've, I've dreamed of being rich, but the minute I became rich, I realized how, how useless it is. I'm not useless. It's very useful. How boring it is to be rich. Do you feel that way or no? no? You don't? No. Like, it's, 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 it's a f***ing number on a screen. Like you work like a donkey and I'm working like a donkey to increase that number on a screen in which you only use 0.01% of it every month for nothing. I mean, I don't... Well, because it's sitting in a savings account doing nothing. You know, if, if you, if you yeah. did something with it, you would start to see the benefit. Like if you knew that you'd have an extra $100,000 a year, let's just say, let's even say on $2 million, let's say you would have $60,000 a year extra just here it is in your account. Do whatever you want with it. Spend all of it, and it's going to come back to you. You would be able to make such a big difference for things that are important to you. Yeah. For an extra 60000 for 30 minutes of work. So even if the money is, like, boring to you, I guarantee you'll find a great way to, to spend that 60000 in a way that's meaningful for you. Okay. Okay, I'm convinced. All right, cool. I will do it. Did my job. <laughs> I will do it. Yeah, no, I mean, I I, I will do it. I, I think it's, there is, there is, you know, it's kind of like uh, what do you call it? Uh, like by, by the way, I've traveled for four years and I don't have a, an airline miles account. Like I, I for four years, every one week I was on a plane and I don't have uh, a mile. That's like, another uh, problem. That's not as nearly as big of a problem as the cash. Yeah, pretty small no, problem. Cash is way bigger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you should have been paying with a good credit card, getting the points, getting the miles. I would say would, that's 50% off your It flights. would be a good idea for you to hire just a personal like investor. Someone's it's just called for a private you. bank? Well, <laughs> no. like one an actual employee that would just make these decisions well, for Well, that you. person needs to be making 10k a month for it to be worth their time. No. no. It's so easy. Well, so easy. If there's you could, some you cannot get someone who's like You really, know how it would probably take them 
10 hours a week to do everything that they needed the, the for you. Thing it's is, not less. The problem is that if you get somebody licensed, <clears throat> there are so many regulations for a licensed person yeah. to give you investment advice that they would have to charge some yeah. extreme amount and they wouldn't probably be on their own. But you could be one but, of multiple of their like but, clients. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, but if you get somebody who's just a personal finance enthusiast who's like, hey, you know, if I were to do this, you know, yeah. I would probably just do this. Yeah. yeah. If it were me. They would sign you, you know? up for the credit cards. They give you everything that you need. Yeah. And all I mean, you need to do is either swipe yeah, the, or just keep is, your bank account high I don't enough. know the regulations for that. It's so strict on like high, paying somebody else to do your finances. It's so yeah, strict. Regulation you're, to, really you're, you're supposed to. That's why, it, you know. Oh, you're not supposed to pay some you're random. Suppo you're supposed to be licensed. You're supposed you're, to be if, licensed. Yeah, like if you're like, Graham, I'm going to pay you $10,000 to invest you my money. You can't money. do that. Oh, gosh, no. That would be like the biggest violation. I would never do that. Really? Yeah. What if I give you 100000 <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> no, 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 no. Every law has a price. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, th I think one of the one of the issues that Nas Daily has faced is that we have no country. You know, we, when we le I, when I left America, yeah, I went to Singapore. Now I'm getting out of Singapore to go to Dubai. And it's just only in the last year have I had a real country presence. But for you, it's much easier. I'm in America. I'm an American. I'm with Uncle Sam for the rest of my life. Right. So I got to get better with this system. But for me, I spent three years figuring out what is a better system than Uncle Sam that saves me more money. And I think I found it finally in two countries. And so now I'm trying to establish financial ties in those two countries. Where are these countries? Singapore and Dubai. Okay. No capital gains in Singapore and no capital gains in Dubai and no income tax in Isn't Dubai. Isn't Dubai slightly better because of the no income tax? It, it is, it is. But so that the way I'm structuring this, this is not financial advice, uh, is all my stock holdings are in Singapore and all my, you know, all my income, because I'm a resident, I'm a resident of Dubai. So this way you get the best of both worlds. Singapore is much easier to invest in from venture capital funds because they, they've done it before. A lot of companies have listed in the NASDAQ from Singapore. Dubai is still very fresh. Does you know? Dubai have capital gains tax? No, none. So why not just do everything in Dubai? For investors, I think they're slightly more comfortable investing in a Singapore okay. company than a Dubai company for now. But I think that'll change in the future.